So I just got word from Ben Brode himself. It's been confirmed. I am officially the greatest deck builder in the history of Marvel Snap because I have created this, my greatest masterpiece, perhaps the greatest masterpiece ever created in Marvel Snap. This deck is red. <laughs> And you're not seeing things. It's literally just a deck that's about characters who either have red in their name or they are just predominantly red. So, of course, we got Red Guardian this week, who's honestly kind of more blue than, than red. But the Red Guardian, Red Hulk, Red Skull. We've got Omega Red. We've got Scarlet Witch. Scarlet, of course, uh, another word for a variation of red, right? And then we've got just super red characters, Daredevil, Armor, Magneto's pretty red, I thought. So uh, this deck is red. And you may think, oh, this is stupid. I don't want to watch this video. Like, what a, what a stupid idea. Like, obviously this deck can't win. And that's where you're wrong, because I went eight and seven with this deck and was actually up plus four cubes which might seem kind of impossible because you look at this deck and there's no synergy or game plan, you know? Um, so how does this deck possibly manage to win games? Well, two two things, I think. Number one, um, Sinister London is the featured location right now, which I think did give this a little bit of a boost because basically like Iron Man into Red Hulk can kind of just win Sinister London games. That said, though, this deck is not built to e exploit that, whereas plenty of other people are playing decks that are built to exploit Sinister London specifically with even crazier combos. So although this helps a little, it shouldn't really help much against the field. I mean, let's you, you guys are welcome to debate that in the comments below how much this, this helps or hurts. But more importantly, perhaps, there's a lesson here in that just playing surprising decks where people don't really know what to expect or what to predict and managing both like location variants and like, you know, taking advantage of, of different location effects, which you're gonna see numerous times this video can really help out if you play to them well. And also perhaps just like, you know, committing to locations and lines and power, particularly through the lens of Iron Man in this deck. So, you know, sometimes just like playing armor into Gladiator into a four drop into Iron Man completely locks somebody out of a location and then like Red Hulk, you know, can be left behind to win or whatever. And, and just finding a line through a game is still a successful way to win. Like it's obviously not gonna be a super competitive deck and like, no, of course you shouldn't play this. Like there's no reason for Red Skull to be in here. My God, run any other card. He's terrible with Iron Lad, right? So like clearly you could make a better deck by abandoning this theme, but there's still an interesting exercise here in like becoming perhaps a little bit better Marvel Snap player and seeing opportunities. So again, this is, you know, just a meme first and foremost, but I, it transformed into something a little bit more, I think. There's something to learn watching this deck in action. Oh, and by the way, I did not have enough boosters to turn Red Guardian into the red frame version. So I had to do the, the upgrade thing here and pay 292 gold to, to transform Red Guardian. So this cost me real money for the meme. That's dedication, that's commitment, and that's why you're gonna watch this whole video, right? Super flow. You have multiple sixes. Cheese all that out on time would be kind of cool. Maybe we just turn off Strange Academy. It's generally pretty scary. I like to know where things are going, you know. I think, uh, oh, Iron, oh, I was gonna say Iron Lad on Cloning Vats could be really cool. If I get like Iron Man or something, but Magic came along to screw me. Also, Scarlet Witch could have turned off Limbo for a surprise victory. This whole turn was just miserable. How did this go so badly? So Magic does kind of make me think Red Guardian could be a spicy play this game. They don't always get good. Uh, Red Guardian opportunities. I'm glad that Red Skull's in hand, so Iron Lad can't really fail here. I mean, Gladiator's pretty shaky, I guess, but uh, that is the home run. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I, um... If my opponent's playing, like, a Tribunal deck, I've got problems, right? I kind of need... I kind of need two ways to win, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't think I can do double stack Iron Man. I don't have a tribunal or whatever, you know? Uh, but, but Red Guardian could definitely be my saving grace here. Oh, it's high Evo instead. Okay. 
That's actually maybe kind of worse. I don't know. Sort of makes me less happy. Because I think Red Guardian is just not as good in this world. This unfortunately it's magic instead of Cyclops. Kind of sucks. I really want to spend energy here, but I, I know Electric can be pretty good. I might actually just go Red Skull right for now. I hate how much power I'm losing to the Cyclops theoretically, right? Oh my god, dude. I guess left is gone. I don't I don't I, I Red Hole could pull it back thanks to Iron Man, but it's just a lot of work, dude. Also my Red Hulks just look tiny right now. I mean I, I do want to like put in work to make them have to deal with this. If I draw Red Hulk or Magneto, I'm not really gonna have the energy for it. I think I play this just for power. I actually kind of hate <laughs> denying the armor, but I don't think this does enough power here. Because I want a gladiator now. This feels like overkill here, and I can't really play it there anyway. So I think it has to go this way. With super flow, I can play like Daredevil and a six. I don't know. I think Electra might just be better, though. Let's see what happens here. They might be like a little scared I'm gonna strong chi them with the armor gone. Not really something I'm thinking about, but oh my god. They are just ruining my left. Hulk, oh god. I mean, here's the thing though. I'm actually ahead left. They have to con contest. Well, no, actually, because the Cyclops. Oh, interesting. Uh. They do also have priority. I mean, I don't really trust this Omega Red, do you? No way, I don't trust it. They might put a big card here and then a one drop here. So in a weird, weird world, Electra might actually be better right. The problem is it's actually not enough normally though. It's a 38 to 39, so it doesn't even beat a pet. Well, it does if Omega Red wins. It does if Omega Red wins. Okay, I don't know, man. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a bit of a flyer here. Oh, they went there. Um, oh, they went there. Uh oh, are we big enough left? Uh oh, I don't know. Uh oh. No, oh, we're totally. How big Sunspot? He's big. We're big enough. We're not. It's, it's not even close. Not even close, buddy. Let's go. It's actually so close. Oh god. Oh god. It's so close. It's 24 to 22. Oh god. It's close. Oh man. And I needed this Omega to win right. So I did kind of. I, I had it right the first time around, right? It's a hard call to make because both of these have Iron Men and the Sunspot can kind of scale. But I think I would be more inclined to put a card here because of the Red Skull. You know what I mean? Like even the Misty Knight, maybe. I might have gone like Misty Knight here and like Sunspot here or something. I don't know. Maybe that didn't win with Cyclops. But either way, kind of nuts that we were able to beat a just legit high Evo deck with this pile of random garbage. Okay. Uh, yeah. They're red. <laughs> Expert analysis. They are red indeed. But <laughs> it snapped. Uh, I like our chances with Iron Man left. That's really good for us. Red Hulk can win Monster Metropolis sometimes, although not in hand, so he's kind of small beans. I mean, Red Skull's decent sometimes too in Metropolis. Well, Cable, I don't know. Definitely not the best Red Guardian move. Uh, you know, we're a little off curve here. Hopefully Electra. Fine. I guess we'll still go Iron Lad left. There's no real low roll. I guess actually Scarlet Witch would be the low roll. Uh, Cause I think I like Need of Valir for Iron Man, right? It kind of gives me a free Iron Man win a lot of the time. <sighs> Red Guardian or Gladiator gone. No, dude, I, I literally confuse these every time. No. Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> dude, this game is falling apart so hard right now. What the heck, dude? I am getting completely ruined. This game is falling apart so hard right now. Uh, I get this in Black Bolt confused every single time. Which one does which, dude? Magic and Stature. Okay, so we actually have maybe a cool Scarlet Witch play, although, of course... We don't know what happened with that cable. 
course, also, we've just got numbers to deal with, you know, like big, big numbers are still numbers. Scarlet Witch plus Red Guardian next turn could maybe be my win condition here. I don't know what the opponent's actual kind of game plan is. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course, no Scarlet Witch, but this Magneto could win big left. And then I try to win mid with like Red Skull, maybe. I guess we're better off if this pulls Silver. Oh, bro, that's my Scarlet Witch, bro. Red Hulk, Red Hulk. Dude, yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes! They claim! <laughs> That's the play I wanted to make! Avengers compound, that could force a lot of action into like an Iron Man where they have to commit power and then we just win anyway, you know? That's always kind of a fun line. Daredevil rights, chill, we might want space left. This could be cool if it hits Iron Man too, just double stack that Iron Man. Red Hulk's huge. Uh, cloning vats. I don't really need that. Uh, this is going to turn into uh, New York and make some squirrels. Central Park, it's called, not New York. Central Park. I will probably Iron Lad right, try to hit some kind of crazy Iron Man or something. Oh, Red Hulk right suddenly becomes very intriguing as well. Um, I wonder if even like if Omega Red's better, but if this hits Iron Man, forget it. If it hits Red Skull, Red Guardian would be a good hit too, potentially with this um, Ravona. We do have priority right now. Oh no, I forgot about compound. Red Hulk has to go left. <sighs> it's fine. It's still good. Gladiator's not so good usually. Let's see. Oh, what have I done? Uh, how do you win like this? Do I have to high roll or, well, this isn't a red guardian. This is a gladiator. I don't have red guardian. Opponent has snapped prior to the daredevil. I mean, whatever, dude, like just, we don't care. We're just gonna do this. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm expecting Iron Man. Oh, it's Magic and Jubilee, eh? Um, this pulls over a Mystique, which could lock them out. But it's just Ravona anyway. I feel like it's not even that good. <laughs> like, that's not even that valuable. Um, this is where I would actually like to lock them out so they can't utilize the Onslaught, you know? So maybe it is literally just Red Hulk this turn, and then next turn we play Magneto here and try to screw them up a little bit or something? I don't know. We also have Scarlet Witch to turn off this Limbo, maybe. That could be a play, too. That could be a big play, actually. They got the Tribunal. The question is, do they, do they like, sit on this Iron Man? We did not get a Scarlet Witch. Do they, do they sit on the Iron Man or do they play an Iron Man now and get two Iron Mans? We would actually still have a Red Guardian out in that case as well. Because Red Guardian could turn off the Iron Man. It's three and be able to play like a Gladiator or something mid maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try to lock out the Onslaught here in case they don't play an Iron Man. This pulls Jubilee, Magic, or Mystique, all of which would I think be fine. Of course, the Mystique on the Onslaught's like all of their, <laughs> like their Iron Man costs one, basically, right? Everything costs one. These are each just counting by one times two, which is four. This is five. It's just a million discounts. Okay, that's actually maybe not so bad. I think the Iron Man was the real threat here. And I mean, it's still good left. Don't get me wrong. It is still good left, but can we just get there on numbers now, right? Like like this. Iron Man here is plus one. They have six, 10, uh, 16, 17 times two is 34, plus five is 39, 49, 57 divided by three is definitely less than 20. And we're gonna be at 40 and 
and and 34. I mean, I guess they already used a mystique. I I feel like this gets there. Plays around strong chi even a little bit. I I think we just get there since we since we clogged out the onslaught. Just don't think this does enough if I did my math right. <gasps> oh my god, still not enough. The super scroll on my Iron Man. Maybe I should have played Magneto. Was Magneto enough? 24, 32, yeah. Maybe Magneto was safer here. I didn't think about Super Scroll. Okay, Sinister London. I mean, with Iron Man and Red Hulk, we always have a shot. Opponent's getting me closer to Iron Man and Red Hulk. Scarlet Witch. All right, Red Guardian is the smallest, and then Gladiator. I'm thinking about uh, Zemo plays, right? Um, <clears throat> that's a good card to see. Can we get the Iron Man 2? That's what I'm looking for. It's a pretty good Electra, to be honest, but I, maybe not. I don't mind their space being occupied, right? It, it, it's fine if their cards are stuck there, small dudes. We're netting a per uh, position power advantage right now. So that might be nice. Oh, Asteroid M is a little weird. Oh, we hit the Iron Man. Sick. Okay. So... This just feels like Iron Lad, Iron Man, Red Hulk, right? I don't know. Opponent snaps, so they're feeling good about something. Uh, Red Guardian here would hit the armor. Gladiator off of Zemo wouldn't be too bad for us, usually. Well, no, it would still. They don't go left. I mean, if they went left. Oh, no, Gladiator. No, oh, uh, what, 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 what? Okay, well, we, <laughs> we netted a little power back in the, in the scheme of that, right? That's not bad. I'll take that. So this is always Omega Red, which is actually really good. Like, really good. There's no target. No, wait, it's not Omega Red. Oh no, that was no target for... No, Zemo's silenced. Oh, so it would have stolen the Omega Red, but Zemo is silenced. I am, there's a lot happening. <laughs> Zemo silencing saves our Iron Lad. So now we get double Omega Red. What is their end game here, I wonder? I really wanted that Iron Man to go right. <gasps> oh my god, please be Red Hulk. Oh, Red Hulk not in there, but Magneto does lock them out here, which we're gonna have an enormous advantage, obviously. Uh, and I'll make a red, actually, yeah, we weren't even gonna get to play that anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> quick retreat. Yeah, all right, that game was cool, dude. Uh, I guess we just play Red Hulk right here. It seems super safe to removal and stuff. Guarantees the uh, Omega Reds. Not like they had any choice. Like, what could they possibly have done here? We can't win both mid and right there. Okay, that's to mean uh, we can do a surprise dump with armor or Scarlet Witch both. Kind of cool. Lake Hellas, no, but Daredevil's good. Actually, pretty good curve. That's one of the great things about this deck, right, is um, pretty good curve. Wolverine, oh. Where does that go? Goes left, okay. Armor's potentially very, very key this game. Maybe we just rip it here already. Sinister London with Iron Man is also pretty insane. This gives us two armors. They have priority... And they're probably gonna keep priority, unfortunately. So I, I think I need to armor now and just kind of hope it lands in, in key spots. But, you know, if it goes left, maybe I can stop a Deadpool chain, for instance. If they start building a... Oh, maybe this is actually more discard. Holy crap. Okay, that's not what I expected. Uh, Wolverine is here for discard and they just took advantage of Death's Domain. That's, that's pretty sick, actually. Well, now Gladiator gets a lot worse. <laughs> Um, I just do need like key stats though, you know what I mean? I just need big bodies here. They have Magneto, Iron Man. So maybe, like obviously Gladiator Armor is not the synergy you're looking for, but maybe it actually like clogs them out or something. Maybe they can't play as much stuff here as they want, you know? It can be beneficial. Swarm deleted, okay. Dakin. So they still have a pretty good Modoc, unfortunately. Double Modoc here. 
Makes these Dakins just completely bonkers. Is there any cool play with like, you know, Magneto moving these Dakins into a fun spot or something? Um, Iron Man Red Hulk also potentially big, but that's just gonna be MODOK, right? Yeah, that's just MODOK. So these are already up to 16. I mean, there's no way Iron Man scales this, right? Let's see, I mean, we're already in on these snaps, so. Morbius huge, taken huge, it just, I think, and Dracula probably huge because we expect an APOC here, yeah. I, I think there's maybe a world where they just pass and maybe play one tiny card if I could do a cool Magneto play. But I need space, there's no space. Oh man, uh... Dracula's gaining what? A lot. I go 23, 46. There's just, I'm not even on the same planet, man. Red Guardian here off the Iron Lad? It's still not enough, right? It hits Dracula, which is very cool. Don't get me wrong, that's actually pretty sick. But it's not enough to win, right? This hits nothing. Red Guardian here. I mean, it's actually probably necessary. I need the stats, but there's no good target. This doesn't feel like it's adding in. It, well, it's literally not adding enough. I, I I, don't know, man. We lose for sure, but we'll try to play for some fun high roll. We'll probably get Red Skull because that's the worst, right? Red Guardian's cool though, man. It's, it's not enough, but it's cool. I just want to see it happen, you know? Oh, dang it, dude. We're so close, dude. I'm so sad, dude. We're, we're so close, dude. We're so close, dude. No. Oh. These Dakins are just so good. Like, Sinister London just makes life so hard right now, dude. We're so close. Three off here, nine off here, which, I mean, honestly, if I'd put the Scarlet Witch here, I guess I could have put the Scarlet Witch left anyway, by the way. I don't know why I didn't just play her left, but... Um, we still wouldn't add it. Dang it, dude. So close. Okay. Uh, Scarlet Witch is fine to play on two. Gladiator's fine to play on three. Yeah. We prefer Daredevil, of course. Ooh. I think we just turned that off. We're not, we're not very good at that. We do have a three, but that's not enough. Oh, the opponent's getting a red Hulk here, sadly. We get an infinite. Okay, <laughs> this might be uh, like big discard stuff. Mm, okay, go get him, Gladiator. I mean, Red Hulk's just gonna be better than Infinite this game. <laughs> you know, it's like he's already only five smaller, which clearly is not worth giving up your turn five for. Kyera. Okay, interesting. I don't have a lot of ways to interact with those anyway, so. Iron Man's pretty good left if we can get an Iron Man right. Scar discarded, it looked like a blade. Was that a bl <laughs> I think it was a blade, that's <laughs> all. Bro, again? This is unbelievable. Iron Man, yes, yeah, okay. Um, This is clearly not ideal. But at the same time, I kind of know what I'm playing on five and six, so I might as well just play it now. I don't, I don't think our fate changes here any. Just five power. Swing feeds the Iron Man a little bit. Ghost Rider on the scar instead of the blade. That actually matters probably because they might have wanted the blade for the Black Knight to connect. <sighs> okay, is Red Hulk big enough, man? Is this big enough? Are they gonna pass into an infinite here? So Red Hulk goes to 19, which would flip right. I don't know, 21's an enormous commitment. It, it actually gets you out of range of Infinite. They're not playing the Infinite, okay. They also have the Red Hulk too, I guess. Yeah, there it is. So... This is a really tough call. I don't know what they have, number one. Well, they have two Red Hulks actually. So I do know what they have. So they will just win if they play Red Hulk mid. I can't, I actually can't. Oh, well, hold up. They'll probably float an energy if that happens. 
and then I can Red Hulk right, which does mean they also know that I can Red Hulk right, which means they can Red Hulk right, and then I should Red Hulk mid. This actually just becomes a Red Hulk 50-50, I think. If they have a one drop to go with it, I'm screwed, but otherwise maybe we're okay. Oh, well, Blob is bigger than Red Hulk, but this is fine. They floated thanks to Corvus Glaive. If we didn't remember the Corvus Glaive, we probably would have lost this game, but we did. We did remember it. Isle of Silence, okay. Not a good for Iron Man, but hopefully we don't hit Sinister London and need Iron Man to roll there. We can try to like fill it up first, I guess. Armor. We're getting an Iron Man. We're getting a Living Tribunal. Oh, dude. So this is actually not as bad as you think because we know they can't go left. Um, we have Red Guardian to shut off an Iron Man, right? So there, there's actually some pretty cool lines here, potentially. I'm going to Gladiator left as well because if we hit any of their ongoing cards, it could also turn them off, right? Well, that's kind of cool. Well, I guess I guess if they're all too small, anyway, I mean, only Tribunal would be. And we know that's in hand, so maybe not actually relevant at all. Oh, no, come on. That's honestly outrageous. I got to be careful because I need to make sure I have room for Red Guardian wherever they're they're kind of stacked up. I mean, I guess Tribunal can go anywhere. Iron Man could go here for this cool Omega Red. Well, no, again, I can't really do that, though. That's, that's the problem exactly, right? I need space for that Red Guardian. It just depends on where they go. We'll see. Oh, it's negative Tribunal, too. Oh, that's actually much worse because now Iron Man is... Uh, or, excuse me, Red Guardian. It's much harder to hit. I mean, I guess if they like play an Iron Man left right now, but for instance, you know, it's gonna hit Mr. Negative or Ravona. <sighs> Magic, huh? Well, that, that actually makes my life a little more interesting again, maybe. Yeah, we can build our own big tribunal lane and then maybe try to counter theirs. I, I don't know, I need theirs to go left. I'm kind of trying to encourage theirs to go left. I don't know. Maybe theirs goes left, right? So we just tribunal this turn. And then we have some like, you know, plays maybe. Not great, not great plays. I don't think Magneto <laughs> changes anything, right? It's really just Red Guardian. So they need to play Iron Man here. Well, they're probably gonna play actually tribunal this turn. But that will still cue us in on where the... Oh, but I need to lose priority, which I'm not going to. I'm going to have priority. So if they play Tribunal this turn, we actually probably lose. Well, turning off their Tribunal, I guess, is still advantageous because it'll be alone. So, I mean, that's a separate way for us to win, I guess. It's the Onslaught instead. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're silencing Onslaught, right? And then just Iron Lad here. Red Skull doesn't matter, I don't think. It's really about us getting the most power possible. Magneto doesn't matter. By the way, I could have turned off. I could have turned off Limbo, dude. I didn't even see it. I got so excited about Red Guardian. Oh man, this is just my most power possible, right? They still have an Iron Man. Well, no, they can't have Tribunal. Well, no, they can. Iron Man's five. That's twelve. Tribunal's nine. Because I won't be silencing the Tribunal, so that's potentially twenty-one. Am I bigger than twenty-one? Not really, but I do have more power elsewhere. Oh, also Red Guardian is a slight debuff as well. So I don't know, we might have this. It's it's gonna be close, I think. Because their tribunal's still active and still an Iron Man, and that just makes us like kind of straight up on it. Does Magneto change anything? No, sadly not. <gasps> the Mystique! They went for the greed. Oh, they're gonna hit tribunal here? No, the tribunal's in hand. They can't hit tribunal here. What's the plan? Super scroll hits the tribunal. Oh my god. Did they have out they had two cards today? I guess they saw the line on this, dude. That's crazy. They hit the super scroll flyer, but we got it anyway because we turned off the onslaught. 
obviously we would have lost this times a million but i think i actually think i made bad play i think scarlet witch was practically a guaranteed victory in hindsight i didn't think about it i was so focused on the new card you know but this this turning off limbo would have just won for sure i mean is that true let's see that's the turn i played tribunal i mean i think so because we were so far ahead left we would have tied mid you know I mean, seeing their line, we know it would have because they just played Onslaught. It might have had a little bit of risk inherent to it um, if they hadn't played an Onslaught, if they had played, I don't know. They had Mr. Negative cards, so if they had played like Iron Man Tribunal specifically or something, we might have lost, but it was probably pretty safe. Uh, yeah, we can actually do Abby stuff, sure. I don't really know if drawing a card is all that useful to me, but denying the opponent is good. We like doing that. Uh, it... Well, <laughs> this feels kind of bad, doesn't it? Um, listen, it's going to be so small that it doesn't matter, or alternatively, it's going to be so big that it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's exactly the wrong size. I mean, it doesn't... It, oh, maybe, though. Maybe good. Maybe still valuable. <coughs> maybe we're not mad. Maybe we're okay. This doesn't actually stop Thor. But I'm thinking about maybe just Iron Manning here and then just like trying to Red Hulk or Magneto or something. I guess Magneto does move a Thor around. I don't think Daredevil is really relevant though. I just want to stack a lane and then win with like Red Hulk or Magneto. Wong. Okay, that would have been an amazing Red Guardian target, sadly. Um, so again, like we said, the, the hammer does still work on Thor, right? If you look at it, it, it doesn't say like, Thor doesn't say like, hey, it's me, Thor. If we do this, we go to 28, which means they need 18 power. Two hammers is 12. Uh, but two hammers and Odin is is too many. It's too 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 many. I I don't know, man. Magneto. I could maybe just like Magneto, but the Thor is again gonna be too big. If I went for a Magneto, I'd almost do this where I try to win right with Red Skull, and then Magneto left to like just throw left, you know? Red Skull's not ideal, but if we're pulling the oh my god. That's not what I thought we were gonna see. I'll be honest with you. Dude, their deck just has everything, eh? I mean, obviously they want Arnim Zola and they have priority, so this Magneto does absolutely nothing. This does nothing, because that's way too big. This one's right, but only right. I just don't think we have it, man. I mean, we'll let them do it. It's kind of fun. Here, we'll let them, we'll let them do it. They want to have fun. They got a cool skin, right? We'll let them have some fun. Why do they have so many cards? Why doesn't Arnim Zola cost more? I guess it's just the hammer? And a wasp or something? Like, what's the other card? It must be a wasp. Have fun, my friend. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe there was... <laughs> no, I mean, what is it? What do I mean? There's a world... I was gonna say maybe there's a world Iron Man gets big enough, but no. The only world here maybe was, like, Red Guardian Wong, but it's it just, like, from a curve standpoint, a timing standpoint, priority standpoint, none of that worked well. Solid curve, yeah. We just need to not play armor and gladiators together. Dude, I am shocked how much Zemo Mill has really just captured the soul of the marvel snap player base they love it dude they love it howard what i don't know now now i'm very i don't know <laughs> i'm perplexed uh throwing him very good for red hulk okay is this worth it I mean, my thought is if they if they value the Howard so much, they must have a card they're looking for that Red Guardian might be better against, right? Also, they may just like that that uh, Dan Hip though. I don't know. Daredevil here or Scarlet Witch? Daredevil. Okay. 
This might hit Red Skull, but then it'll get turned off in Clintar anyway, so that would be fine. I kind of hope it hits... Well, I don't know. I don't have great lines here, because I don't have a good Iron Man location. Because I can't play Iron Man left. It kind of needs to play Scarlet Witch plus Red Guardian. Oh, Scarlet Witch on Limbo is also insane, though. That's something we'd want to do next turn. I don't know what my opponent's deck is, by the way, bro. This makes me strong mid. Well, they know I have a Scarlet Witch, though, right? So they're not going to, like, get baited by this. Oh, my God. Okay, well, they don't have a choice. The game is ending next turn. They're locked up right, which means we're just going to win right. We're so big. Um... Well, we're not that big, but we're big enough anyway. Oh, dude, the double hit with Comertage. That's just some free bonus power we netted. Nice. I mean, do they have Shang-Chi? They don't really have a choice, right? They got to win both if they do. Yeah, dude, these Doc Ox, I mean, they just, we love these. <laughs> like, we really love these a lot. Okay, Sinister London is... It's okay for us if we get Iron Man, to be honest, yeah. <coughs> Iron Man Red Hulk is a good line. No, oh yeah, Ar armor's good too to protect uh, our Red Hulk, so. Iron Man sometimes still exposed, of course, to rogues and enchantresses and so on to the world. Forge, maybe it's a Deadpool deck? That means they're, yeah, oh. <laughs> If they're dead fool, they can't destroy anywhere. Left, right, and mid are all turning off destroy effects. Oh my god, you love to see it, dude. You love to see it. Free wins. I'm at, by the way, guys, I'm actually positive with this deck as of that game. I am at eight and seven through my first 15 games.